Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Tester. In this, we are going to discuss about a HTTP POST request. In the last session, we discussed about a HTTP GET method and we have executed in a postman and we understood how JSON look like and how we can validate the JSON. So in this, we are going to work on a HTTP POST method and we will learn how to test POST APIs against different test cases. So we will look at the test cases. We we will define the pre test cases for the dummy APIs and we will see how we can test on a postman. So let's get started. Here I am on a postman screen and I need to click on the plus button which is a create. So I will get this view and here from the drop down I need to select a post API method. So I have selected a post method and in a previous sessions we have used uh, this website to get our test API. So again we are going to use the same website. And here we are having a create method. So if I click on the create method, I can see here uh, for a post create method, uh, this is the request body and this is the response. So if I'm going to hit this request, I'll get a similar kind of a response. It will have a name, job ID and created it. So the end point is a slash API slash user. So let me write that slash API slash users. So this is the base URI and we discussed during the HTTP method understanding for a post request we will have a, a base URI endpoint so that we have defined here up to in that is a base URI and after that API slash user there which is a endpoint and again after that we have to define the header so this is the dummy APS we are not having a headers, but still there are hidden apps. So by default, if I'm working on a postman, so it will pick some auto generated headers. And in automation also, we need to pass a auto, uh, we need to pass basic headers, which is a content type application slash JSON. So now I'm going to the body and to add a body, we here we can see none button. We need to click on this. So we need to select a row and then from text there is another drop down so I need to click on this and we have to select a JSON and here this is a request body I am selecting and uh, I am updating a name so here the name is a Morphus I am updating a fundu testers a job is equal to SDET if I am triggering this request so we are getting a similar response name job ID and created we got ID which is a 267 the similar the response here we got now Talking about the test cases, so here we have executed the first test cases, create a user with a valid data. So we are getting a successful response and uh, status code is a 201. We have to make sure that if you are hitting a post request, status code has to be 201. So status code here we are getting is a 201. Uh, it took 336 milliseconds and uh, response size is a 935 bytes lesser than a KB. So this is how we can trigger a post request. Now we will understand different test cases, how we can execute different test cases or how we can write a test cases for this particular API. So before that, here we are basically creating a user like we are doing a sign up for a new application like Instagram or Twitter or whatever applications we are going to sign up. By the time we are passing this information, so let's say we are going to sign up on a Facebook and here we have couple of data like a first name, surname, mobile number, new password. So these are four fields and apart from date of birth and uh, gender. Here similar way we are passing just two fields, name and job because this is the dummy APIs. We can test these two field, fields one by one. So first we are going to test which is a generic scenario, create a user with duplicate data. So ideally on a Facebook, I cannot uh, use your Gmail ID if you have created your own account using your mobile number or Gmail ID. So that data is unique basically. No one else in the world can use the same email ID to generate another user. So similar way, uh, for each and every APS, there has to be something unique uh, based on the business scenarios. So here we are trying to create another user with the same data. He, earlier we got for this data fundu testers and as that the id is 267 now we are going to create a we are going to trigger the same request another time and we'll see send it generated and now id is a 40 so which means it has created a duplicate user for a same data so which means this test is a fail apart from this they we can work on a every fields like a name field job failure if it is a facebook api then uh, most probably mobile number or uh, email id email id it should be in a standard format like uh, 
uh, there will be some character and after eight threat it has to be domain like a nissan go hell dot of do testers dot com like that it has to be standard email id after eight threat sign should be there domain name should be there the similar way for each and every field we can come up with the different test cases but uh, make sure that if we are working on a password then it has very strict uh, limits like a 6 to 32 characters it should have uh, alphanumeric data like a to z some characters should be there numbers should be there like one to zero zero to nine like that or uh, uh, it should have power capital letter it should have one to two one to two uh, special characters so like that combinations will be there for a password but name that much combinations won't be there but still we can check name ke, we can pass name with a uh, numeric value ideally it should it should not accept because none of the name will have a uh, numbers like a numeric value special character null leave empty remove name field then what is going to happen so let's try Let's say I'm going to pass instead of a fundu testers here, I'm going to pass a dummy data or a new alpha numeric value like this. And I can, I'm trying to create. So it is creating basically I got. So it depends on a business case. It can be pass or it can be fail. But this kind of test I can execute for this particular API. After that, I can pass a special character. So if I'm pa passing a special character, it should not accept. So this test is a ideally it should be failed. Now we are leaving empty. We are not passing any data with this field. And we'll see. So it has created a user with a dummy data. Basically this shouldn't allow apart from let's say if I'm passing a null data. So null is a basically data type and sometimes database will not accept the null data. So if I'm passing anything with the null or like something like that, then it should reject from the DB. Here it is accepting. If I'm removing a name field, entirely then we'll see without name also it is creating a user so i have created a user and i have not passed the email id like that and uh, apart from let's say what we can pass let's say we can pass uh, uh, some dummy key value pairs so ideally api should have defined key value pairs we cannot pass extra key value pairs but here let's try we have passed something like that and we'll see so it is accepting and we are getting 201 i'm copying this data with the name i am passing this data basically and we'll see see it has created this so this all are the failure scenario but this is the dummy api that's why it is passing but for real api it should not pass so we have discussed uh, this scenario we have discussed remove mandatory fields we have tried to remove name we have removed so it has created a user then extra dummy uh, key value pairs we have added so similar way for a name field i have executed some scenarios so you can try yourself for a job field and uh, those tests should pass or fail depends on what values you are passing so i hope this is clear and if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in a comment section thank you so much